We have more information about God than the Apostle Paul. To whom much is given, much will be required. That's only fair, right? Hi, my name is Maddie. Hey, Maddie. Um, tonight was the first night I had heard the term age of accountability. Uh -huh. So I hopped on to the wise and all-knowing Google. Okay. And um, they said, I just want to make sure it's right. Uh -huh. um, it's that individuals before a certain age are given mercy on the things that they had done. And is there any scripture that relates back to this idea? And is there an age estimate like of when that ends? It's Isaiah chapter 8, I believe, talking about before the boy knows his right from his left, the right and wrong. But the, it's a boy. We don't know the age. And I think it's probably going to be different for every person, right? Some people mature faster than others. Like for girls, the age of accountability is three. For boys, it's 37. <laughs> okay. Um, the second part to my question is, is if we don't know the age of accountability, is someone that maybe commits suicide or has an abortion before that age given mercy, but someone after punished or needs to repent more than the person before that? All sin separates us from God, but not all sin is the same. There's greater commands, there's greater sin, there's lesser punishment and greater punishment. We have to get this idea out of our minds that all sin is the same. It's not. Obviously, if you murder somebody, just from our own common sense, you know, you're not going to you're going to go to jail for life, maybe. You're not going to go to jail for life if you jaywalk, unless you're in California and you're a Christian. Um, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> but <laughs> where were we? <laughs> <Sorry>. <laughs> Jaywalking. So, okay, well, I, when you say mercy, do you mean God's mercy, or do you mean the people, like the U.S. judicial system mercy? What do you mean? God's mercy, like being able, like, seeing that as a sin and like the division between like going to hell yes. and heaven. Yes, well, God knows. In fact, if you look at Luke chapter 12, Jesus is talking about, um, he's telling a parable to tell people what it's going to be like when he comes back. And he says, the people who had greater knowledge and did evil will be beaten with many blows. The people who had lesser knowledge and did evil would be be will be beaten with fewer blows and he says, to whom much is given, much will be required. That's one of the scariest verses in the entire Bible. Because in America, we've been given so much. Especially right now, you can plumb the depths of all sorts of different Bible versions, Bible translations, Bible commentaries, books, commentary, all sorts of things to know who God is, unlike any other time in history. To whom much, will, much is given, much will be required. In fact, think about this, ladies and gentlemen. Do you know that we have more access to God's revelation than the Apostle Paul had? Paul probably died before he saw some of the New Testament. He probably didn't see the book of Revelation. He probably didn't see the book of Hebrews unless he wrote it. Um, he probably didn't see certain books in the New Testament written later. We have more information about God than the Apostle Paul. To whom much is given, much will be required. That's only fair, right? Get ready. Start using what you know to build God's kingdom. Thank you. All right. Thank you, Maddie.